this video I am review the Sri Kandi strain Indonesia, which many say is a challenger to the Imperi 32 variety Indonesia. Before continuing, don't forget to like and subscribe and press the bell button for this channel so you don't miss the next interesting video. Just a brief description of Srikandi rice. This rice is 85 to 90 days after transplanting. Stem height 85 to 90 centimeters from ground level. Productive tillers reach 30 to 40 stems per village. The number of per panicle seeds is 180 to 250 panicle seeds. Flag leaf Y. Clear white rice, not chalky. For the taste of rice, namely pulen. The potential yield reaches 12 tons per hectare. The shape of the grain is large, including the premium quality of the grain. The color of the grain skin is clean yellow and very liked by grain buyers. This rice is very easy to care for. It does not require special care, just like other rice. One of the advantages of this rice is that it is resistant to falling and its scales are heavy. This rice is no longer in doubt to carry out a full nutritional application because there is no fear that it will collapse. It is suitable for rain-fed land and irrigation land. Fertilization is recommended two times application, namely the first application at the age of seven days after transplanting, and the second three weeks after transplanting. No later than four weeks after transplanting almost all the advantages of other rice already exist in this rice. For the land occupied now, it is rain-fed land and the soil is sandy. If the first-class land is planted, the results will be even greater. For friends who want to share agricultural problems, please write in the comments column. This channel has various other superior rice videos. Before it ends, don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel so you don't miss the next interesting video. That is all and thank you.